Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Tim here from Garden State Koi, and we're back with another project showcase. And this time it's a project all the way up in Croton on the Hudson, which is a small little suburb village of New York City, about 8,000 people, and it's located right on the cliffs of the Hudson River. A lot of these projects in this area have a lot of tough access. Once we start getting into the project, you'll see, first of all, there was tons of rock in the backyard. The homeowner, Mark, actually had another company come in before us, and they had a jackhammer this big huge cliff and remove all the rock once that was done there was an area left for us to do the pond but once we got in there we had to figure out different ways to get material up behind the house As far as one of the main challenges for the team at Garden State Koi was getting the material into the backyard. And between myself and Enrique and the rest of the team, we found great ways to get the material into the backyard. One way was by using bad gravel. We actually brought some pallets of bad gravel, which was easy to carry on our shoulders and up the stairs. The rock that we used was not too big. We did bring some bigger ones in there. And then you'll also see later on in the video, there's a cement wall and we wanted to have the fish to be able to fed right from the patio and we added a big piece of bluestone there so that took up some of the rock that we needed to bring in the backyard and also gave a really cool effect so as some guys were bringing material into the backyard Enrique and Baldo had a very important job before we could actually get the liner into the pond we had to do something really special to that cliff side it was really jagged and bumpy all the way and because the homeowner wanted water from all the way up above pouring off the cliff, which we normally don't do, we had to figure out a way to seal that liner to that rock. So Enrique and Baldo, between chiseling away at that rock, smoothing it with some grinders, they were able to get that surface smooth enough where we were actually able to adhere the liner to the rock. And we did that by using silicone and aluminum metal batten strips. That actually puts the liner right up against the rock, so if any water was to come down and drip along that face of that stone, it would actually go inside the pond instead of behind the liner. It was super tricky, but we love a challenge at Garden State Koi. Because I went to school for graphic design and art, I do have some model building skills, and I actually had to make up a mock-up for the homeowner out of corrugated plastic. And that mock-up was a spillway that was gonna be custom made. It just so happens that Mark's good friend is a metal shop fabricator and specializes in copper. It really came out really, really well. We put baffles inside, actually had an area for a bulkhead to hook onto the back. And then Mark, the homeowner, actually sent this out to his friend and they fabricated this whole entire spillway. This spillway is more of like a party pump. It's not something that runs all the time. So there is a separate pump in the skimmer. Homeowner can turn on with a remote control and the water starts pouring off the cliff. Every project is always different. And sometimes you have a project that's gonna be in the middle of the driveway. This one here with that big cliff behind formed another real challenge. And that was how do you blend this pond down below and waterfalls into the cliff side. I mean, you can't just use round boulders because the cliff is not round. We actually used some of the pieces that from when the guys jackhammered the pond, we used some of that in the waterfall. One real helpful thing for the waterfall on the right was a nice piece of driftwood that we found and it was a big stump. So it looked like the tree was actually growing out of the cliff side. When it came to the left side of the pond, we had to be a little more artistic to blend that pond into the cliff there. And thanks to my buddy, Joe, from Orange Nursery, he was able to supply me with some different plant material that I was able to tuck into the rock work. By tucking those plants, fern looking type plants into the rock work, it was really a great way to blend that water and transition that into the cliff. And then to the left side of that, it really made a nice transition also for the waterfall. And that waterfall is really cool because it has multiple viewing areas, especially from inside the house. We had to pay attention to the placement of that waterfall because one of the windows from Mark's office is where he likes to view the pond. Remember back earlier in the video, I talked about that bluestone slab. It's something that we use here at Garden State Koi in a couple of different projects. If you check back on our YouTube channel, we actually used it to make the screened-in porch feel like it was right up against the pond. What it allows us to do is, is bring that element of you viewing the pond really close to that water because it's a skinny piece of bluestone and that liner goes up right behind it. Once that bluestone is sealed, it gives you this really, really neat finished look, especially on this project here. Because of all that rock structure and jackhammering, the pond actually had to be elevated a little bit. And 
when that pond was going to be elevated, we have to have a cement wall between the deck and where the pond's going to be. And that cement wall is actually a nice little place to sit. So I thought it would be a great idea to introduce that bluestone into this project. You can see that behind the bluestone, we added some foam insulation for some padding for the liner. And then we actually set that bluestone right against that liner and then held it in place with boulders. When the wall was all finished, after we got done, a mason came in and faced all that wall. It's really neat because you could sit on that wall, reach right over behind you, and feed the fish. Besides the pond on this property, one thing that is really neat is the property just doesn't stop here. Above that waterfall spillway up top, on top of that cliff, Mark has a little walking trail that takes you up along, and you can sit up top where there's a fire pit and see beautiful views of the Hudson River. I could imagine being up here, looking at the Hudson River at night, a campfire going, and since it's such a quiet area, hearing that tranquil sound of the waterfalls down below. It totally turns this backyard into a true paradise, just pure relaxation. And that's what we like to do when we come to your backyard. Remember, if you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to press that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team here at Garden State Coin. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another vlog. Press that subscribe button. <laughs> Oh, it was so smooth. A lot of these projects have a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of these projects have really, really tough acts. <laughs> <laughs>